Um, welcome, really nice to see so many of you. Um, yeah, I'm probably one of the least technology focused people here today, so my link with WordPress is very, very small. Don't ask me anything about my food blog. I have no idea how it worked. I would type words and it would just magically appear on the, on the screen. Um, luckily, I don't have to do that much anymore, but tension, office life, I've done it for eight years, sat behind a desk and know very well all of the feelings that you have at the end of the day. Um, so this session is really designed as, okay, so it's going to be around about half an hour maybe, so not necessarily that you would do the whole 30 minutes yourself in the office, but if there's like little exercises that for your body feel great the idea is that during your day you make the time to like stop typing and actually do some movements um, so we're going to do a little bit of breathing I know you can all do that but we're going to do other types of breathing we're going to do some breathing we're going to do some eye yoga and we're going to do some physical movements um, because of the way the room is set up today we don't have desks as it were which means we're going to get a little bit creative by finding wall space to use um, halfway through the session so you will need to come out from the comfort of your own chairs um, but to start with let's yeah you guys have all been sitting down all day right yeah okay stand up all right <laughs> that's the first thing right Woo. um okay and so just don't uh, if you can take a little bit of space from each other it's probably quite nice let's use the space that we've got around us um just a show of hands just so i'm roughly aware who here does yoga currently stick your hand high because there's different heights okay cool and who's ever done yoga ever just once or twice okay Cool, I'm coming to find you afterwards to ask why you don't still do yoga. <laughs> right? It will make you a better person. Um, <laughs> all right, so for those of you that have never done yoga or whatever, no one's looking at you. I'm not looking at you, I promise you I'm not, and I'm going to be doing it too. So I know there are some of the things that we're going to do where you may feel slightly self-conscious, but just go for it. No one's looking at you. Okay, so first of all, feet at least hip distance apart. Inside of your feet are parallel. And just imagine that your knees are kind of soft. If any of you guys surf, you know, if you're standing on a surfboard, if everything goes rigid, you'll come off. So a little bit of a softness in your knees, and I want you just to start shaking. Okay, so we have this layer of like muscle type stuff in our body called the fascia. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Let the, let the hands go as well. Um, and this layer of muscle, the fascia, is deeper than your muscles and your ligaments. And what I want you to do is try and shake it. Shake it all out. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. Everything, everything, everything. And you can do anything you want. You know, it's Saturday night, right? Yeah. Um, just literally release, okay? And if you feel self-conscious, just remember, no one's looking at you. You're not that interesting, so just shake. I can't promise you, though, if you did this in the office, that people wouldn't be like, okay. Okay, it's a way to get recognized, you know? Be the dude that shakes. Okay, just keep shaking. The whole idea is I'm just trying to loosen up your muscles because we're going to sit down to do the yoga, but just get a bit of blood flowing to your muscles. Remember your feet. So sitting at a desk, if you wear shoes a lot, um, you're not going to get a lot of blood flow to your, blood flow to your feet. In your, t in your shoes, imagine your toes are playing the piano. So I want you to like wiggle your toes around, do some cool Michael Jackson moves, you know, really get with it. Show me those snake hips. Just shake, just shake, just shake. Last few moments, I promise you, and then we'll sit down again. Keep shaking, keep shaking. I'm not looking, your neighbor's not looking, you're not that interesting. Shake it, shake it like you mean it. All right, last few moments. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it. All right, and start to slow down. Cool. All right, good. You guys are awesome. So find yourself a seat. Doesn't matter where you're sitting. Okay. So gremlins, sit up. No gremlins in the room, right? Sit up. Not a sack of potatoes. Um, again, this might not be very, very representative of your office chair, but um, hopefully... Hopefully your chair, that's the first thing to check when you get back to the office, is your chair set up correctly. Um, I've got pretty long legs, so this chair is a little bit low, but ideally at your desk you want a 90 degree angle through your legs. So you gentlemen in the cinema seats at the front, maybe go try and find, yeah, find yourself a wooden chair. And if I go side on. So have your legs as best you can in 90 degree angle. And I've come away from the back of the chair just to give me the space to move around. Watch out for the people next to you. If you've got long arms, we are um, going to be moving 
just moving the arms. So first of all, hands just rest on the knees. Yeah, that's it. I don't want to, I don't want to start like, oh. um, okay, hands on the knees. Roll the shoulders back just a few times, just backward rolling shoulders. Pushing down onto the knees to give yourself a little bit of effort to push back. That's it, yeah. Good. Yeah, just creating big circles. Good. Nice. Yeah, cool. <sighs> Everyone's feeling a bit loose, right? Yeah. Where's the gin? Oh, am I projecting? Come forwards with the shoulder circles. Okay. There we go. Good stuff. All right, and then come to a position which, don't think about it, just feels natural to you. And then I want you to be really, really kind of try and think inside. Do you feel the shoulder naturally just sits forward? It can, it can be, okay? The shoulder for some of us sits forward. For other, others of us, it's already sitting back. If you feel just a little bit like this, make a conscious effort just to roll the shoulders back slightly. Imagine there's a piece of string right to the top of the head like a puppet and feel the sides of your neck grow longer but keep your chin parallel to the ground, so don't stick the face in the air. Close your eyes, and again, no one's looking at you, but if you're not comfortable with the eyes closed, feel free to have your eyes open. Just pick a spot to look at on the ground. Eyes open, looking down, or eyes closed. Bring your attention to the very tip of your nose. Okay, so the air ventilation system is now turned off, which is great. I would like you to see if having all of your attention on the tip of the nose, you can begin to sense, and that's either feeling or better still hearing, the sound of your breath just moving in and out through your nose. Okay. So in terms of feeling your breath, you're looking for the breath moving in, so the edges of the nostrils, inhalation, and then breathing back out, again sensing the movement of air at the tip of the nose. Maybe it's a gentle, gentle sound that you can pick up on, even over the sound of my voice. Is there a way that you can allow your ear to tune out of the sounds in the environment around you, the sounds in your head, right? All the thoughts and the lists that we all have going on. And instead, can you bring yourself to listening to your breathing? And if there is just one thing that you take away from today, this could possibly be the most valuable tool to you. Building up an awareness or an ability to focus your mind so sharply on something as soft and quiet right now as your breathing is going to improve your mental capacity in, in like innumerably. Okay, so keep thinking tip of the nose. Keep thinking that you are trying to sense either feel or hear your breath moving. You haven't made the breath any, any different to normal. You just keep, every time your head wants to disappear and think about something else, you just keep coming back to the tip of your nose and trying to sense your breathing. If you can practice this even for one minute every day, I promise you it gets easier. It's something you can do at home, it's something you can do at your desk, and you're already doing eye yoga. For you guys staring at a screen all day, simply closing your eyes is also going to dramatically help the muscles in the eyes. Eye yoga, simply the act of closing the eyelids. A few more moments here. Just notice if you're finding this difficult to keep your mind focused on one point, the breathing, the sensory awareness of your breathing. Okay, so again, eyes can stay closed or open your call. I'm going to describe to you a breathing exercise and then we'll all do it together. It's super simple. Again, a nice little takeaway for you. The description. We're going to take two sets of three breaths. The first set of three breaths, we are breaking down the inhale into three parts. And in between each third of inhalation, you will have a brief pause where you hold your breath. We do that three times. Then the next three breaths, we do exactly the same thing, but with the exhalation. Okay, super simple. Together, let's breathe in through the nose, long, steady and deep, and then breathe out through your nose, long, steady and deep. We'll do two more normal breaths before we begin. So inhale through the nose, feel the lungs expand, and then exhale out through the nose. Relax through the tops of the shoulders. We'll do one more like that. Breathe in deep, slow and steady and breathe out all the way through your nose. Okay, here we go. So breathe in just one third and then pause, stop, hold. Breathe in your second third and then pause, stop. 
Breathe in your final third, fill the lungs up, breathe in all that you can and then pause and stop. Just notice how light and lifted your body is feeling right now. And then exhale smoothly, completely out through your nose. Okay, nice and simple. So we do two more breaths like that. Breathing in your first third and then pause, stop. Just relax shoulders and muscles of face. Breathe in your second third and then pause, starting to feel lighter and lighter. And then breathe in your final third, go for it, fill the lungs up, let them expand and then pause, stop, hold. Your body is full of air. And then breathe out through your nose fully, completely and smoothly. Final round, breathe in your first third, all muscles of face are relaxed. Breathe in your second third, pause, stop. Breathe in your final third, go for it, fill up all that you can, go, 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 and then pause, stop. Breathe out completely. All right, so now we do the same, but with the exhale. So your next inhale is long, steady and deep. Just a full <coughs> inhale, fill the body up. All right, and then just the first third, you're gonna breathe out and then you stop, pause, hold. Second third, you breathe out and then you stop. Final third, have the confidence, pull the belly in, get rid of all of the air in the body, go for it. And then stop, stillness, absolute stillness within. And breathe in, smooth, steady, long, deep. And then your first exhalation, one third, go for it, pause. Oh, and then afterwards, pause, stop. Second third, exhale, and then stop. Final third, have the confidence, use the belly muscles, pull, get rid of all the air, and then stop. Absolute peacefulness within. And then go for it last time, deep inhale. Last round, exhale your first third and then you pause. Exhale your second third and then you pause. Exhale your final third, this is it, go for it. Have the confidence, you know you can, get rid of it all. And now just hold and notice how silent things are. And then breathe in and automatically breathe out and just continue taking some really deep breaths and notice become aware has the quality of either your inhale or your exhale changed just naturally okay again a very simple exercise to try and help you declutter the brain get rid of stuff flying around the front of your mind and instead focus on something else it's like a little holiday and then begin to blink your eyes open if they have closed okay so that's the breathing part done. You're all still alive, which is very well done. Well done. You put, you've passed first round. Good. All right. So now eye yoga, really important for you guys. If you wear glasses, I'd recommend that maybe take the glasses off because we're going to do some gentle, gentle massage. If you have contacts, um, don't pop the contacts out. That would be horrible. Okay. <clears throat> So on average, roughly how many times do you stand up during your day if it's not for coffee or the bathroom? Do you ever just stand up from your desk and move away from your computer? Yeah, you guys all, yeah. Do you all work on computers? That's an assumption that I've just made. All of you can staring at computers, okay. And does anyone get red eye syndrome by the end of the day? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, okay, cool. Red eye, so like when you've been staring at a screen for too long, you get bloodshot eyes, like sore stinging eyes, okay, right. All right, just good, good for me to know. Okay, so first thing to do, we've already done it, is simply the idea of closing the eyes. So if you can't stand up from your desk, I would recommend that you close your eyes for at least a count of 10, pretty much every hour, right? Just for a count of 10, okay? You don't have to get up from your desk. I know it's difficult sometimes, the phone's ringing, whatever. Phone is actually a great time to close your eyes because you know, sometimes you don't have to look at your screen. Next thing to do is I recommend to take your first two fingers, joking aside, be careful if you've got contact lenses, I don't really understand if, if you'll feel this, but just take the, the fingers to cover the two eyes and the tiniest, softest circles, just begin to draw circles on the tops of the eyes. You are not pushing your eyes in. It's almost like you're trying to move the eyelid skin over the ball of the eye. So very, very gently rolling little circles. Don't worry about the direction because we're going to reverse. This is so, so light, that's it. And then just whatever direction you're doing, reverse, come the other way. It's like you're giving the tiniest finger massage ever. Yeah, 
Okay. A few more circles in your opposite direction. And then you just keep, you keep your eyes closed, but let your hands come back to your knees. Okay. And then we're going to slowly open the eyes. All right. And then we're going to do slow blinking. So just like a blink, but I want you to exaggerate it. So open your eyes wide, really, really wide. And then slowly, slowly close your eyes and just squeeze the eyelids together. Hold the eyelids squeezing together. You all look gorgeous. Don't worry, I'm not taking a photo. And then open your eyes nice and slowly. Oh my God, your eyes are popping out of your head. That looks so amazing. What's just happened? I'm like, can you use the screen? Close your eyes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make a horrible face. We're only going to do three more. I know this is really embarrassing. I'm doing it too. Slowly start to open your eyes. You have to lose all sense of pride as a yoga teacher. And then close your eyes. Squeeze the eyes closed. Yeah, I used to teach children as well, you can imagine. Open the eyes. Really let the eyeballs pop out of the skull. And then last time, close your eyes and squeeze the eyelids together. Uh, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then let the eyelids relax. Your eyes are still closed. And then slowly begin to blink the eyes open. Okay. All right, so cartoon eyes. We're going to make, we're going to draw circles with your, uh, or draw, draw shapes with your eyes. Okay, so first of all, it's just across. So you're going to, I'm not that you can really see me, but I'm going to mirror you. You're all going to look right. So just look directly right. All the way that you can to the right and all the way you can to the left. And then come back to center and then look up, 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 but don't move the head. They're cheating if you move the head. Uh, <laughs> and then look down. It's so funny how many people could, uh, look down. Again, cheating if you actually move the head, which I just did. And come back to center, look right. We're just going to move around now. Look right, go up, go right, go down, go right. Go left, go right. You're feeling sick yet? Go up, go down, go right, oh, go left, go down, go up, go down, <laughs> go left, come back to center and just blink a few times, blink a few times. All right, if you feel like just rubbing the eyes, you can just rub the eyes. All right, so it's just creating a little bit of strength in your, in your eye muscles. Okay, and now last one that we're going to do, we're going to do Z shapes. So it will be towards the, imagine your eye is like a screen, right? It will be going like this across the screen. Okay, Z shape. So you're going to go up to the top corner and then look along the top of your screen to the other corner and then look diagonally down to your right corner and then look across to the bottom left corner. I'm going to reverse that movement. So look across to the bottom right corner. Go up diagonally to the top left. Go across to your other top corner and then go back again. So over to the left and then down to the right, over to the left. Reverse it last time. So over to the bottom, other side of the bottom, diagonally up to the top and then all the way across to the top. And then again, just blink your eyes. Just blink, take a few moments to blink. Rub the eyes a little bit. Okay, there's your eyes done. All right, eyes and breathing done. Let's work onto the shoulders. So we did a bit of shoulder rolling. Um, does anyone have any, okay, well, no, if you have any neck problems, like uh, serious or, can it, you know, you get a stiff neck quite often, in this next exercise, you really must be careful not to cause yourself any pain, okay? I'm going to mirror you as always. So lift your right arm up in the air, and then you go over the top of the head, and you place the hand onto the left ear. Number one watch point is this shoulder. Try not to have it too far up. So the point at which your shoulder and neck meet, just soften this point down. Remember, this is a really fine balance of pressure. Your left hand can just rest onto your left knee. Keep thinking right shoulder away from the ear. With your right hand, very gently begin to encourage your ear towards the shoulder. Pretty much just feel that you're letting just the weight of the head go. Okay. This is where you need to start controlling things as to what feels good for you. Number one option is to gently begin to press with your right hand to kick, kick, bring the ear a little bit closer. And you should feel a stretching sensation on the left side of your neck. That can be enough for you if you want to add a bit more. As you're pushing down through your right hand, you can also begin to gently press the ear up in the opposite direction. I repeat, this should not feel painful. This is just a stretching sensation. And then third option is you can reach your left arm away. Now, for all of us, it's different. So you kind of have to move the hand around. The reaching of the arm, fingertips reach actively away, and you want to feel the stretch come down into the top of the shoulder. Watch for the internal rotation of the shoulder. Have that chest open again. So please play around, move the hand around. 
hopefully not fondling your neighbour, just make sure you, you <laughs> find a position that works for you. And then when you're there, I always recommend to close your eyes because it helps you be more aware of the sensation. You want to feel a stretch, that's totally fine, but I don't want you to feel any kind of pain. Watch points as well as your uh, right shoulder staying relaxed is your jaw, okay? Your jaw is connected to your neck. So if you're gripping your teeth, that's gonna potentially cause a bit of neck strain. Final few deep breaths here. In and out through your nose, nice and deep. Okay, so any type of pressure in the extended arm, bring the hand back towards the thigh. And then any type of pressure in your top hand, just let the hand go. Turn your face towards the floor so your chin is pointing towards your right shoulder. Place your hand to the back of your skull now, the back of your head. Continue to drop the right shoulder away from your face or the neck. This time, like a diagonal line, your chin is being gently pulled down towards the right corner of your chest. So now you're looking to feel a bit more of a stretch towards the back body. So perhaps down the back left side of your neck. As you're pulling the chin down, imagine also that you're trying to lengthen, pull the back of the head long away from you and then down. Okay, keep breathing and remember jaw is relaxed and also the right shoulder stays relaxed. Final few deep breaths here. And then you, get, you let all of the pressure go from your top hand. You stay with the head like this. Just bring your right hand back to your lap. Stay looking diagonally sideways. Lift the chin so you're looking at eye level. And then slowly bring your head back to centre. And just take a moment. Maybe, hopefully, the left side of your neck feels a little bit different to the right side of your neck. Yeah? Okay, so we go to the other side. So uh, the left hand comes up in the air. Mirroring, so confusing. Okay, so remember, watch point is that the left shoulder is moving away from the ear. First of all, just let the weight of the head come over. Okay, so ear and shoulder moving together. And then up to you. So number one option is maybe the hand begins to encourage the ear down. Number two option is as hand goes down, ear or head comes up. And number three option is to, to play around. And it can be different on both sides, right? We've all got wonky bodies. So one side is gonna be different to the other. Find out where you feel that added stretch across the top of the shoulder and chest is still open. Don't, don't come into the internal rotation. And again, I recommend to close the eyes so that you're hyper aware that this is not causing you pain. This is just a deep stretch. And the whole idea is that we're making length in your neck, space in your neck. Okay, so there shouldn't feel crunching pain. It should feel like lengthening action. If you've reached out the, the, the far hand, it's kind of from your fingertips all the way to the top of your head. You feel like you're able to grow just a little bit longer. Okay, so if you've reached out with your right hand, bring the right hand back to your thigh. Let the pressure go from your top hand and then just turn face towards floor. So diagonally, we're looking down. Chin is pointing to left corner of chest. Take hold of the back of the skull and very gently begin to pull the chin down towards or pull the back of the skull, lengthen the back of the skull forwards and down so that your chin is moving in towards the left corner of your chest. And the same idea is here. You can also push the head up into the hand if you like to take a bit more. Watch out for the right shoulder rolling in. Watch out for the left shoulder lifting high. Sounds like a room of dead people. Make sure you're breathing. You are allowed to breathe. Okay, and then keep the face where it is. Just let the pressure go from your top hand and bring it back to your thigh. Stay looking sideways. Just lift the chin. Your eyes are at eye level. You're looking diagonally left. And then bring your head back to centre. Okay, and hopefully the neck feels okay here. Just very, very slowly let your chin drop directly forwards. Imagine your head is just a heavy bowling ball and you just let the head drop forwards. As the chin is moving towards the chest, be careful that the shoulders don't also come with it. So shoulders stay rolling back. And the more you can lengthen the back of the skull forwards, almost in towards the center of the rim, the more you're going to stretch the top of the spine. So chin is coming down, but also imagine you're able to push the back of your head, the top back of your head forwards into the center of the rim. Keep sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders rolling back, breathing. And then slowly start to bring the chin up. Make sure to keep the neck totally relaxed as you do. Hopefully you feel a bit more like a giraffe now. Nice long necks. Open your arms wide as you breathe in. And then bring your right hand underneath. 
I'm the boss. <laughs> Bring your right arm under your left arm. Okay, so here we go. Here's, here's yoga pretzel moment. So the elbows are going across, one on top of the other. Bend your elbows. This is where I see coordination. Good. Back of the hands are facing each other. So this is what I call the back of the hands. And then press the back of the hands together is number one option. Number two option. Yeah, that can be enough, right? That, that can feel enough. Number two option is that we double bind and we try to bring the palms to touch, okay? So, that's number two option. Yeah, I know, it makes you feel really special, doesn't it? It does make you feel really special. Okay, it's, probably shouldn't say things like that. Okay, so this little wrap here, I want you to try and bring the elbows up, but as you bring the elbows up, drop the shoulders down. Okay, so it's like a pivot point. I don't want you to bring the elbows up by pulling your shoulders up. So get the, let everything come down. Come down, come down, come down. That's it. Okay, so here we go. As you bring your elbows up, drop your shoulders down. Okay, that's not the end, by the way. You're then going to start to move your hands away from your face. So it's like you're diagonally trying to point the fingers into the center of the room. Then begin to squeeze elbow to elbow together. Okay. Yeah, it feels pretty gross, doesn't it? Okay. All right, and just stay here and try and make the pressure through your arms even. Okay, so squeezing elbows in towards each other. If you've got the double wrap and you've got your palms, squeeze the palms. Okay, this is not forever, I promise you. Okay, this is really good for cyclists, anyone that gets on a bike, anyone that wears a backpack, anyone that sits at a computer. Just keep squeezing. I promise you it's the last few moments. This is going to feel like bliss. Re bring your arms up in the air. Oh, yeah, and unravel. Oh, my God, how good does that feel? Guess what? You get to do it on the other side as well. Bring your arms out, okay? Get your left arm under your right. So bring the elbows one on top of the other. Bend the elbows. Number one is to push the back of the hands together. Number two, you're going to double bind. Let everything come down, okay? Then, elbows up, shoulders down the back of your body. Then, hands away from your face in towards the center of the space. Then, even out the pressure through the arms and elbows. Okay, so we've all got a dominant hand, the hand perhaps that we write with, or maybe you don't write, the hands that you click the mouse with. I'm trying to be so, I'm, so, I'm like, I write with a pencil and paper. Yeah. I love pencils. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. That's it. Good. Nice. Yeah, I've been, ah, this is really good, actually. Uh, lots of people that are like this. This is nice. This is nice. This is really, really tough work for your shoulder. No, seriously. It's like, yeah, keep, keep pressing, keep pressing. Last few moments. Remember how good it feels when you let it go. So push, push, push. Don't give up now. Show me your grit. Okay, ready? Here we go. Reach up. Oh, yeah. Ah, good stuff. Okay. Hands come onto the knees, roll the shoulders back. So this is real grandma yoga, cat and cow position. Hands are on the knees because you need to be able to use the fronts of the knees. So I'll come sideways. Make sure you have space behind you. The whole time I want you to keep a good engagement through your lower belly. This is going to protect your lower back. So already you should feel like you're able to sit up just a bit more using the fronts of your knees to help you. Roll your shoulders back, bring your chest forwards and then try to lift the chest up and you come into an arch in the lower back. Lift the chin up towards the ceiling, open the fronts of the throat, look up. Your stomach did not get loose. It's still nice and engaged. Now as you exhale, pull the belly in and think about an angry cat round your spine and bring your chin towards your chest look down towards your thighs and again pulling through the fronts of the knees roll the shoulders back pop the chest forward lift it up open the throat my mum calls this teeth and tits and then breathe out round the back she was a she's a great mother and then pull the belly in all right come forward teeth and tits lift the chest forwards and up open the front of the throat and then exhale, angry cat, round your spine, spread the shoulder blades apart, feel free to hiss if you want, that's fine. One more, breathe in, lift the chest, up, 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 try to lift and touch the ceiling with the chest, and then breathe out, round the spine. And then breathe in, come back, and now try and find a long spine. Okay, really long and lifted, so hopefully you feel like the spine is a bit more, yeah? Good, okay. So that's the, the upper body. Oh no, we'll do some side stretches. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Take hold of your right wrist with your left hand and breathe out, reach over. 
and just stay here, but really feel like your rib cage is able to move over towards the right side. So all of these muscles in between the ribs, the intercostal muscles, really give them a good stretch. So push the rib cage out. Yeah, nice, that's it. Good, and then come to center, change your wrists over. Pull up through the left wrist, pop, the not literally, but move the rib cage over towards the left side and stay here. And if you can breathe big breaths into the side of your rib cage, this is also gonna fan the rib cage open and give those muscles a good stretch. Okay, and then one more time. Lift up, try to touch the ceiling and come over. Stay here, a few deep breaths. Keep the neck long. Yes, good, good, better. And then come through center, reach up, and then pop the rib cage towards the left side. That's it. Again, this is another really simple thing you can do, definitely to help your day. And then reach up and then release. Good stuff, okay. Feeling good? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, okay, right. I'm just gonna do some twists, this is really important. Legs 90 degrees as best you can with the space that you've got. And um, this now depends on what the back of your chair looks like, but we can all get a basic idea. Take the right hand, the back of your right hand to the outer edge of your left knee. You want to be able to push against it. So your knee is gonna be moving this way and your hand is gonna be moving this way. From the front of your body, pull the belly in, breathe in, lift the chest and breathe out. Try to bring the rib cage around, turn to face the side of the space. Now, if you've got a back to your chair that you can hold on to, or maybe the one, yeah, that's it, good, Tucker. Maybe hold on to the chair in front of you. Take a hold of the back of the chair. Use the back of the chair to breathe in and lift the right rib cage a little bit higher and then breathe out. Use the back of the hand and the knee to twist. Your chest is facing towards the glass doors. That's it, good. And then breathe in, pull the back of the body, lift it high, high, high. Breathe out, pull the belly in as you twist. We're doing one more here. Breathe in, lift that rib cage as much as you can. Breathe out as the stomach pulls in, you twist. And then with an inhale, come to center and change your hand positions. So the left hand comes to the outer edge of the knee. Be prepared to give yourself that resistance point. Breathe in, lift the left rib cage and then hold on to anything that you can. Breathe out, begin to twist. Breathe in, lift the back of your body and breathe out, twisting. Try to drop and broaden the shoulders. One more here. Breathe in, lift through the waist and breathe out. And then breathe in, come back to center and breathe out, just release. All right, okay, so twists are really good. Now we're going to get into the legs. Everyone's favorite, mine in, in particular, squats. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit more like regular exercise. Okay, yeah. So you're gonna be standing forwards. I don't know how much space you each have in between the front and back, but yeah, you're just gonna to need to stand up. Okay, so take a big breath in. All the time, your stomach is gonna stay strong. As you breathe out, push through the feet and stand up. Okay, so the key aspect of yoga is movement and breathing. So take an inhale, and as you exhale, bend your knees, don't touch your chair. Ah, don't touch the chair. Take an inhale, push through the heels, exhale. Focus on your breathing. Take an inhale, exhale, bend your knees. Bum goes back, but don't sit down. Take an inhale, exhale, push through the heels. Good, nice. Take an inhale, exhale, bend the knees. Can we get a boomerang of this? Take an inhale, <laughs> exhale, push through your heels. Take an inhale, exhale, bend your knees. Again, inhale, ah, 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 exhale to move. Be patient, yogis. Breathe in, breathe out to bend. Inhale here, exhale to push. Inhale at the top and exhale to bend. And just hang out here. Yeah. Open your arms wide. Bring the right arm under the left. Oh my God, she's doing it to us. Lift the elbows up, drop the shoulders. Keep squeezing. You are nearly there, I promise you. Release arms only. Oh my God, left arm under right. Think how great your first beer is going to take. Keep squeezing. Is the stomach loose? Are you still using your stomach? Hold strong in the belly. Reach the arms up, inhale. Reach forwards as you exhale. Take an inhale, smiling faces. <laughs> exhale, come up. Good, all right, Rel relax the legs. Okay, and final little bit of work because I wouldn't want you to think that yoga is easy. This is where we need to, this is where we need to find a, 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 strong, a strong thing. So I'm gonna use a pillar. It's enough just to have your hands like this. So you can go around pillars, you can take this side. Yeah. 
Okay, so ideally you would do this at your desk is the first thing. Um, and I'm going to come, um, yeah, not very good demonstration. Can I do it here? Oh yeah, this is quite good. Someone, anyone who's feeling kind of feisty, come over here to this table. Taka, where are you? Get over here now. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you push the other side. So we're going to do something called a chaturanga. Okay, this is a yoga push-up. Now the key thing that I don't want to see is bananas, which is when the bo the, bo the bum of the hips are going to sink in. Okay, so has everyone done a plank position, like the top of a push-up? You know what I mean by plank, yeah? So imagine you are a long, strong line of plank. If you're feeling feisty, come up onto your tiptoes so the heels are lifted. If you're feeling a little bit tired today, you can give yourself extra support by stepping the feet in and having your feet flat and you are going to be bending forwards from your hips, not in a straight line. I will demonstrate this. So it's gonna look a bit more that the hips are coming up. My feet are still flat. This is a supported movement. If you're feeling funky, your feet go further back. You're in a plank position. I'm about to wrap myself up in wires and break all kinds of equipment. Come up onto your toes. Everybody's stomach is strong. Again, movement with breathing. Take an inhale, exhale, bend your elbows. Keep the elbows tight to the body. Take an inhale, exhale, push your arms straight. Inhale here, exhale, elbows bend. That's it, you're all doing it nicely. Inhale here, exhale, push arms straight. Feet can go further back to make it harder. Inhale here, exhale, elbows bend. Inhale here, exhale, arms push straight. How much fun are you having? Take an inhale, <laughs> exhale, elbows bend. You're like, I wish I'd gone on that tour. Take an inhale, exhale, push your arms straight. 10 more, no, five more. Inhale, <laughs> exhale, elbows bend. Nearly there, don't give up. Take an inhale, exhale, push arms straight. A little bit quicker, one breath per movement. Inhale, exhale, bend, push arms straight, breathe in. Exhale, bend, push arms straight, breathe in. Exhale, bend, I think we have two more. Push arms straight, breathe in. And then exhale, bend, hold, 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 hold. Squeeze the elbows in and then push arms straight. And then step your feet forwards. Okay, just give the arms a shake. Come back to your chairs. Okay. Roll the shoulders back. I would recommend that you close your eyes if you're not comfortable closing your eyes. Find a spot to look at on the ground where you are not distracted. And I would like you to come back to the tip of your nose. I would like you to come back to trying to observe, sense, feel, hear your breathing at the very tip of your nose. And I would like you just to take a moment to notice how you're feeling physically and also mentally. Like I said at the start of the session, even if you just take away one or two things that you intersperse your day with, the more regularly do you do it, the easier it will become and the better you'll feel hopefully during your day in the office. So just a few more moments, totally in peacefulness and quiet to yourself. And then begin to blink your eyes open slowly, blinking to let some light back in. Thank you very much, you guys. You guys have been really good sports. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, come find me afterwards. But yeah. Um,